Good morning. I was uh, good morning. Um, first of all, it's good to be back in Tallinn and uh, to meet with the uh, EU defense ministers. I look forward to meet uh, all of them and uh, in particular to discuss uh, uh, cyber and uh, how we could together can uh, uh, respond to the many cyber threats uh, we are uh, faced uh, uh, with. I look forward to participate in the cyber exercise together with the EU uh, defense ministers. That's uh, the first time I participate in the cyber exercise with the European Union. And I'm also glad to announce that uh, NATO has decided to upgrade uh, the EU participation in our cyber exercise, which is going to take place later on this year. Uh, it's called Cyber Coalition and it's one of the biggest cyber exercises uh, in the world and the EU will be a full uh, uh, participant, uh, uh, will participate fully in uh, that uh, uh, cyber exercise. We are faced with many uh, challenges uh, in the cyber domain. Uh, over the last year we saw a 60% increase uh, in the number of cyber attacks against NATO networks. And it is important that we work together with the European Union to uh, defend uh, also uh, our allies and uh, our members against uh, many different kinds of uh, cyber uh, attacks. So uh, a timely exchange of information, uh, harmonizing our procedures uh, is key uh, to respond to any kind of uh, cyber attacks. And we saw that also this spring uh, with the two major or big cyber attacks where uh, NATO uh, and EU worked closely together. Our experts exchanged information and, uh, and helped uh, each other in our response to uh, these major cyber attacks. So we will step up our efforts. I look forward to work closely with the European Union and also discuss with the EU ministers how we can further strengthen uh, NATO-EU cooperation uh, in general. Secretary General, later today ministers will talk about North Korea. Are you concerned that Russia is resisting further sanctions on North Korea. There are all, already uh, sanctions uh, agreed in the, EU, in the UN uh, uh, and it is extremely important that all those sanctions are fully implemented because uh, the North Korean behavior uh, is a global threat and requires a global response, a united global response. Therefore uh, we call uh, on North Korea to fully uh, comply with all the UN resolutions uh, to uh, abandon its uh, nuclear and missile programs and to refrain from further uh, testing and to engage in a constructive dialogue uh, and then that all uh, the whole global society uh, fully implements the uh, UN resolutions on sanctions. Um, in the cyber attack storyline um there's also an anti-globalization group mentioned as a potential threat. Do you see this as a threat that NATO needs to deal with? No, we don't have any uh, specific groups which we have pointed out as uh, threats or enemies. We are ready to defend ourselves against any uh, cyber attack uh, coming from uh, government and uh, or state and non-state uh, actors. Uh, so uh, we have not identified any specific group as an enemy or, or, or a threat. Thank you very much. Thank you.